in this video we are creating a <laughs> Hiya everyone, Garage Repaints back after 2 months Yes, because life, definitely not laziness The figure of sacrifice is a Ravenelli figure in his Juventus days And for the head, we are using a Lionel Messi from Soccer Wii Alright, for figure prep and assembly, we will be using an essential tool, the wood carving tool. Before we can start, we need a wooden platform for safety reasons. In this video, I'll be sharing three methods to detach the head from the body. Method 1, you can use the tool to slowly chip away until the head is detached. For method 2, chopping. This method is for raging adults that need to let out their battle cry. And for method 3, the extravagant. Well, I hope you can learn one method and implement it in your customizing journey. Next, I would like to bring your attention to the Lionel Messi head. I personally do not like the gap between the head and I would like to create a smoother transition. And with that, I'll be carving out a chunk around the head like this. The last step is to glue the head onto the figure using super glue. I like to apply pressure when I'm pressing against the two parts for a good 5 to 10 seconds until it's bonded. Alrighty, figure prepping and assembly is done, now it's time to get ready for remodeling. For remodeling, we are using water, a silicone and needle shaping tool and epoxy clay. I'm using epoxy clay this week because uh, it's, it's, it's on my workbench. It's a two-part epoxy clay that cures after two or three hours after mixing. Highly recommended. For the initial part, I'm using snakes of clay and covering the gaps between the head, neck and base. Please use water to smoothen out the clay to get a nice and perfect transition. For sculpting, I'm scoring the clay to match the hair texture on the figure. After curing overnight, this is how it looks. And let's get ready for painting. I'm using this grey to prime the figure. I highly recommend that you use a wet palette when painting and try to thin down your paint so that it doesn't look too thick or clumpy when applying. I try to use one or two strokes when painting an area. Do let the layer dry before applying the next layer. After two coats of primer, we can start painting the eye details. I'm using this bone color to paint the whites of the eyes as well as the teeth. I feel that it creates a more natural look rather than painting it white. Next, I'm going to paint the eyelashes black. And I decided to give the teeth more depth by painting a thin layer of black under the teeth. Please do not be scared of the goat. Next, I'll be painting the flesh area. I will then dot the pupils black followed by a small dot of brown and a smaller dot of black if that makes sense. Now it is time to clean up any paint by using this as a skin tone. Now let's move on to painting the kit and adding some details. I'm using this to fill in the general layer of the kit. Voila! Next I'll be painting the black trims for the neckline and sleeves. It's time to add some decals. 
I'm using clear water slide sheets which I printed off a laser printer. I like to use a liquid called Mr. Mark Softer to make the surface adhesive for the decals to slide onto. I will dip my decals into water for 10 to 20 seconds before removing the backing and placing it onto the figure. To move the decals, I use water and a brush to adjust it to the appropriate position before removing the excess water with a tissue or paper towel. I'm using this to paint the detail of the shirt. And I'm using the same black to paint the shorts. Now all that is left to apply is the remaining logos and the kit is done. I will finish off the boots with an inaccurate gold. I would like to send a gentle reminder to subscribe to my channel for more random content. I will use the power of editing to fill in the base of the figure. And now let's move on to painting the skin and the hair. I'm using a mix of skin tone and white. I can't tell you the brand of skin tone because I combined multiple brands of paint to create this Caucasian skin tone. I'll cover the skin in about two or three layers of paint. I'll mix the same skin tone with pink to create a smoother and more natural looking lip color. I attempted to use the same mix of paint to paint the shadows at all rosy areas on the face but I realized it was a bit too saturated. So I mixed in more skin tone to the paint and I think it really looks promising at this point. Here's another tip, add blue to your skin tone to create the stubble look or the short hair effect for your figures. I painted the sides of the hair and bearded areas. And at this moment, I realized he needed his arm tattoos. So I used decals I made in 2016 to apply it on his right arm. I'm using a combination of dark brown, a lighter shade of brown, and a mix of both of the colors to paint the hair details onto the figure. Before we get into the final reveal, do check out my Facebook, Instagram page, Ask Me Anything. I will try to reply to you as soon as I can. And now, it's time for the final reveal. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with another Messi figure I did in 2016 when he initially announced his retirement. Thank you for watching this video and yes, I did not forget about my last video. Here's what's coming in a future video. Mmm, bye.